Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam namaskrityam naram chaiva narotamam daivim sarasatim vyasam tato jaya mudirayat nasta prayeshu vapadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya bhagavati utamashloke bhaktir bhavati naishtaki Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shemati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shanyavadi Paschatya Desatarine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita nam pavane pyo vaishna vipyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so today you're celebrating the boat festival. So I was thinking how the human body is also like a boat. When everybody sits down, then I can talk more. It seems people are all moving around still. Okay. So we said human body is like a boat and the ocean is the ocean of the material existence. The human body is a very good boat for crossing the ocean of material existence. So but if you're going to cross the ocean, you want to have a good captain for the ship. The captain means the spiritual teachers. If you don't have a spiritual teacher, it's like a boat without a captain. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going to be the future. So when the captain's on the ship, the captain knows what to do, he knows the route, he knows what to do when a storm comes, he knows all the, the how to deal with all the different problems. We have to follow the orders of the, of the captain on the boat, just like we have to follow the order of the spiritual master. And when we are on the boat, we have to follow the order of the spiritual master. 
इस भव सागर को पार करना चाहते हैं तो हम सबको आध्यात्मिक गुरु की बात माननी पड़ती है so Srila Prabhupada gave us many instructions what we need to do to cross this ocean of material existence. He told us that we, we all have to surrender to Krishna. Surrender means also giving up all of our other religions, all of our material attachments which we have to this world. Krishna comes into the world to establish dharma, but he tells Arjuna, give up all dharmas and just surrender to me. Surrender to Krishna is the highest dharma. All of the other dharmas, the so-called dharmas, they're just like a stone boat. In Srimad Bhagavatam 6 Kanto, you can read about how Sukadeva Goswami is instructing Maharaj Parikshit. So he's tell, in the sixth canto he's telling about how Brihaspati offended how Brih, uh, Indra offended the spiritual teacher Brihaspati. So it was described that uh, this is like going, trying to cross the ocean on a stone boat. If you have a boat which is made of stone, the boat will sink, it's not going to float. You're never going to cross the ocean. You're never going to get anywhere. You're all going to drown. So that's what happens when we try to cross the ocean of material existence without surrendering to Krishna. We become involved in so many material dharmas. We become, we become involved in politics and diplomacy. We forget the goal of life. We forget the fact that we're all pure spirit souls. And we simply thinking about the comfort of the material body. So there's all, there are so many different ways in which we plan for sense gratification. Sense gratification is only ignorance. Just like in Srimad Bhagavatam, Prahlad Maharaj describes how a blind person may follow another blind person. So if somebody is blind and you're going to take shelter of them, you want them to guide you, you cannot expect to get to destination. So 
So blind person follows another blind person, they will just simply, will, they'll go in the ditch, it will be chaos, they can never expect to reach any destination. Somebody may be lame, lame person, he may be lame, but he can get on the back of the blind person and he can tell the blind person which way to go. So lame man cannot walk, but the blind man can carry him. And the, the blind man, he has no eyes, he doesn't know which way to go, but the lame man, he knows, he can see. So they combine together and in this way by working together then they can achieve, they can go to their destination. So very important that we understand how to follow, who to follow. And what, what, which way to go? There's a famous book. It's a children's book. It's about a little girl called Alice. Alice, Alice. So Alice, she went into this wonderland, very wonderful place. She, you know, she didn't know where, where she was going. And she came into the wonderland. Everything was very beautiful, very wonderful. So she came in there and, and so she met, this, she met a person and she said, uh, which way should I go? So, so Alice, and so he asked her, where do you want to go? So she said, well, I don't really know where I want to go. So he told her, then it doesn't matter which way you go. So we have to be very conscious, we have the human life, we have to think where do we want to go. We are the Tatasta Shakti of Lord Krishna, we are the marginal potency. We can reside in the spiritual world or we can reside in the material world. In the material world, we have heavenly planets, we have earthly planets, we have hellish planets. Lord Krishna said, if you worship the if you worship the demigods, you go to the planets of the demigods. If you worship the forefathers, you go to the planets of the forefathers. So Bhagavad Gita Bhagavan Bhatata Hagi Yadiham Devutaugi Puja Karteha Devuluk Majainge or Pitarongi Puja Karteha Pitarongi Luk Majainge. And if you worship Lord Krishna, you can go to him. And even in the spiritual world, we see there's different destinations in the spiritual world. Some people go to the impersonal Brahma Jyoti, 
they're happy to be one in one oneness with the brahman aur koi vyakti brahma jyoti mein jana chahte hain aur brahma mein vilin hona chahte hain for the impersonalists that's their goal just to merge into the oneness aur jo nirakar vaad hai unki is prakar ki dharana hai ki wo brahma mein ek hoke vilin hona chahte hain some people they want to go to vaikuntha and they worship lord narayan they think lord narayan is the supreme lord and they want to go to lord vaikuntha and be the servant of lord narayan aur koi vaikuntha jana chahte hain jahan bhagwan narayan rehte hain aur unke sevak banna chahte hain unki seva karna chahte hain some people they want to go to ayodhya they're very attracted to be with lord rama and they will worship lord rama and they will go to lord rama in the spiritual world aur koi ayodhya jana chahte hain bhagwan ram ke dham mein aur wahan unki seva karna chahte hain unki puja aur bhakti karna chahte hain and some people they want to go to dwarka and worship lord this dwarka dish aur koi bhakt hote hain wo dwarka वृंदावन और ऐसे भक्त भी है जो केवल नंद महाराज के पुत्र जो है कृष्ण को कृष्ण की भक्ति करना चाहते हैं और वो केवल नंद महाराज के पुत्र के रूप में जाने जाते हैं they have they don't know krishna in any other way they only know him as a son of nand maharaj aur wo hai keval krishna ko nand maharaj ke putra ke roop mein jante hain and they kisi roop mein wo nahi jante and their desire is simply to be with the lord there in braj aur keval unki ichcha ye hai ki keval braj mein krishna ke sanidhya mein prapt karna so we say krishna is perfect in dwarka he is more perfect in mathura but he is most perfect और बताया जाता है कि कृष्णा द्वारिका में पूर्ण है और मथुरा में पूर्णतम पूर्णतर है और वृंदावन में पूर्णतम है बिकॉज इट्स इन वृंदावन लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंजॉयज द लविंग एक्सचेंज विद हिज डिवोटीज थ्रू द डिफरेंट रासस ऑफ सक्यरास वत्सव्यरास मधुर्यरास और वृंदावन में इसलिए पूर्णतम है क्योंकि उधर में भगवान भक्तों से अलग अलग प्रकार के रस में आस्पदन करते हैं विशेष करके इत्यादि रसों में कृष्ण गेट्स मोर प्लेजर आउट ऑफ द डिवोटीज हु वर्शिप हिम इन द मूड ऑफ दिस डिफरेंट रासस देन ही डज विद दोस हु वर्शिप हिम विद ऑन वेनरेशन लाइक इन वैकुंठा और कृष्णा ज्यादा प्रसन्न होते हैं कि यदि उनको इस किसी रस के संबंधित उनकी भक्ति किया जाए तो और प्रसन्न रहते हैं so people may recite the vedic mantras but then is not so much pleasing to lord krishna jaise koi log vaidik mantron ke dwara uchcharan karte hain to wo bhagwan ko itna acha nahi lagta he gets the greatest pleasure when the devotees relate to him through one of the different rasas aur bhagwan ko sabse jyada anand tab milta hai ki bhakta bhagwan ko महाप्रभु का आने का एक उद्देश्य था कि इस संसार में आके वो ऐसा भक्ति सिखाए जो भगवान के प्रति की हो और उत्साह पूर्वक जो भक्ति अमेरिका भगवान की हो जाए इस प्रकार की भक्ति के लिए महाप्रभु आके सिखा रहे हैं सो दिस राग भक्ति दिस इज सीन इन अमंग द डिवोटीज इन वृंदावन नो वेयर एल्स और ऐसी राग भक्ति जो है भगवान के प्रति अहेतु की जो भक्ति है उसको बोलते राग भक्ति तो ये केवल ब्रज में और वृंदावन में ही पाया जाता है एंड द पर्सन हु हैज द ग्रेटेस्ट राग the greatest bhakti for lord krishna is shrimati radharani aur jo bhakton mein se hai ki bhagwan ko jo raag bhakti mein sarvashreshtha hai shrimati radharani it is said radha and krishna are one but they separated themselves into two eternally 
और बताया जाता है कि राधा और कृष्ण एक ही है लेकिन आनंद के लिए वो अलग अलग हुए हैं सो श्रीमती राधा रानी इज अ पर्सनिफिकेशन ऑफ द इंटरनल पोटेंसी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण नोन एज द लद्दीनी शक्ति और श्रीमती राधा रानी जो है भगवान की अंतरंगा शक्ति है और उनको लहादिनी शक्ति के नाम से भी जाना जाता है There are three internal potencies. There is the Ladini Shakti, the Samvit Shakti, and the and the Sandini Shakti. So, ऐसे भगवान के तीन प्रमुख शक्ति हैं और जिनमें से Ladini, Sandini और Samvit करके तीन नामों से जाने जाते हैं. Sandini Shakti is a potency by which Lord Krishna. maintains the whole spiritual world and all the different forms of his devotees in the spiritual world aur shandini shakti ke madhyam se bhagwan adhyatmik jagat ko palan karte hain aur apne anyo avataron ko saath adhyatmik jagat mein rehte hain is shandini shakti ke madhyam se and the samvit shakti is the cognitive potency It means the potency by which one can know lord krishna and lord krishna's devotees by which they know each other aur ye samvit shakti jo hai ye bhagwan ko janne ki vigyan hai jisse hum bhagwan ko jaan sakte hain aur unke bhakton ko jaan sakte hain and the ladini shakti is the pleasure potency the pleasure which the lord and his devotees experience in their loving dealings aur jo ladini shakti jo hai bhagwan ko anand dene wali hai aur भगवान Usually, when the Lord incarnates, he will come from Shiro Dakshayu Vishnu. Will be a Vishnu avatar. Or, sadhanatya, when the Bhagwan avatar is taken, then Shiro Dakshayu Vishnu, that means from his means, is avatar. But once in a day of Brahma, the Lord will come as Swayam Bhagavan. Or, Brahma, on one day, the Swayam Bhagwan Krishna will come. So that Swayam Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Within that form of Swayam Bhagavan Sri Krishna, all of the avatars and all the incarnations are all contained within that one form of Lord Sri Krishna. Or, if Bhagwan Purna Purushottam Krishna आते हैं तो उनके अंदर में जितने भी अन्य सारे अवतार हैं, अलग-अलग जितने भी स्वाम से वो सब उसमें समाया होते होता है. Means all the yoga avatars, all the uh, All the Shakti avatars, all the Guna avatars, Lil avatars—they're all there within that one form, Shamsundar Krishna, who is the original supreme personality of Godhead. और अन्य जितने भी भगवान के अवतार के नाम से जाने जाते हैं जैसे लीला अवतार, गुण अवतार, पुरुष अवतार या जितने भी अवतार हैं, वो सारे कृष्ण के अंदर में ही समाये जाता है. So the Vasudev form of Krishna is also there within the Shamsundar form of Krishna. Or, जैसे वासुदेव रूप भगवान का है वो शामसुंदर के अंदर में भी है. Yeah, when when the demons have to be killed, then that is that is not the work of the supreme personality of Godhead. That is done by Vishnu avatar, by Vasudev Krishna. Or, जैसे अश्रों को मारना वो परम पूर्ण पुरुषों का भगवान कृष्णा का काम नहीं है. वो अन्य विष्णु अवतार के माध्यम से करते हैं जिनके अंदर में सारे विष्णु अवतार भी समाये हुए हैं बट द एक्टिविटी ऑफ गिविंग प्लेजर टू हिस्स डिवोटीज दैट इज द एक्चुअल पर्पस ऑफ द पर्सनालिटी द ओरिजिनल सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड है स्वयं भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट इज हिज रियल पर्पस इन कमिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड ओनली वंस इन अ डे ऑफ ब्रह्म डज ही डू दिस तो जैसे भक्तों को आनंद देना ये केवल भगवान कृष्ण करते हैं जो पूर्ण पुरुषोत्तम भगवान है अन्य जो आश्रम को मारना वो अन्य अवतार के माध्यम से करते हैं तो इसलिए जो भक्तों को आनंद देने के लिए भगवान आते हैं परम पूर्ण पुरुषोत्तम भगवान वो केवल ब्रह्मा जी की एक दिन में एक बार ही आते हैं 
So Lord Krishna comes and he has wonderful pastimes with his devotees in Vrindavan. But he sees that in all the pastimes that it is Srimati Radharani who is getting more pleasure than him. Now Lord Krishna, he is a Vishaya Vigraha. He is a form of transcendental loving relationships. And Radharani, she is the ash Ashraya. She is the abode of the Baba, the love for Krishna. Krishna is the subject, Srimati Radharani is the object. So who is enjoying, but when they, when they meet together, Krishna always sees that the pleasure of Radharani is thousands and hundreds of thousands of times greater than his own pleasure. Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. He loves to enjoy, but he sees that his devotee in the form of Srimati Radharani is enjoying many, many, many more times than him. Just like when we organize festivals for Lord Krishna, when we put on this boat festival, we enjoy doing all the decoration and we enjoy pulling the boat. And Lord Krishna, he also enjoys a little, but actually the devotees enjoy more than Krishna. So Lord Krishna, he wants to experience that ultimate pleasure which the devotees experience. The Lord also saw that his own beauty is very attractive. When he would see even his own reflection, he would become attracted. But he sees that his beauty is even more attractive to his devotees. The devotees take greater pleasure than the Lord gets from his beauty. And the Lord also gets pleasure in the dealings with these devotees. But his devotees get even men, much, much more pleasure than he gets. And this is why Lord Krishna decided that he would have to come in the mood of his devotee. And this is why Lord Chaitanya appeared in the Kali Yuga, and the Lord Chaitanya who appears in this Kali Yuga is also the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In 
In every yuga, every Kali yuga, there's a Lord Chaitanya, and there's the Yuga Dharma, and the Harinam Sankirtan is established. But there's only one Kali Yuga. In one day of Brahma, there's one Yuga in which Lord Chaitanya comes, who is the Supreme Personality of God. So that Lord Chaitanya doesn't come just to only... His business is not only to establish the Yuga Dharma, but to also taste the nectar of love of Krishna. And the nectar of love for Krishna is greatest in the mood of the devotee, when you become a devotee of Krishna. So being the devotees is the most fortunate position. That we can relish pleasures which even the Supreme Personality of Godhead cannot experience. We want to understand how merciful Lord Krishna is to his devotees. That he gives more mercy to his devotee than he gets himself. Hmm. Krishna likes to enjoy but he lets his devotees enjoy even more than he can enjoy. So that enjoyment of the devotees, that comes in the form of transcendental ecstasy. And we see this ecstasy expressed in the form of the the speaking of Srimati Radharani. Just like in Shikshastikam, the mood of Srimati Radharani is there in the final verse of Shikshastikam. Srimati Radharani is saying that if my unhappiness makes you happy, that is my happiness. Right, those of you who are married people, you know how your wife speaks. You know the wife will say, you have to make me happy. But Srimati Radharani says, if my unhappiness makes you happy, that is my happiness. It's a very, very exalted, very special love loving exchange between Srimati Radharani and Lord Sri Krishna. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila chapter 4, Krishna Das Kaviraj goes to great extent to describe that the loving, loving exchange between Radha and Krishna is not material. It has nothing to do with mundane sex. Those who actually understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna 
then they will have no interest, no attraction at all for mundane sex. The pastimes of Radha and Krishna are enacted in their, their spiritual bodies. They do not have material bodies. They have pure spiritual bodies. So the nature of the material body is just full of lust, but the nature of the spiritual body is full of pain. And we get a taste of that prem when we are chanting the holy name and when we are engaged in service to Krishna. So we want to take advantage of this wonderful program which is organized today for all of us to chant Hare Krishna and to enter into the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. And we pray that one day we can also enter into the eternal loving pastimes of Radha and Krishna. So it's very important for us to study the books of the Goswamis. It is said, Rupa Raghunatha Pade, Haibea Kuti, Kabehama, Bujahabase, Yugala Priti. That if we are eager to understand the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, we have to do it through studying the books, the writings of the Goswamis of Vrindavan. So I'd, I'd like to thank Purnamasi Maharaji for organizing the program and giving me an opportunity to address all the devotees. And I wish you all well in your Krishna consciousness. We know that Tuesday we have the holy day of the appearance day of Srimati Radharani, so I, play, I pray you will have also the blessings of Srimati Radharani. All, all, all the people in Vrindavan, they all want to get the blessings of Srimati Radharani. Because it's only by the blessing by the blessings of Radharani that we can actually please Krishna. So Tuesday is a very, very important day for all the Vaishnavas, Gaudiya Vaishnavas. And we have to thank Srila Prabhupada for his kindness and giving us this introduction to Radha and Krishna. Okay, so thank you all very much. Shri Srila Prabhupada ki. Shri Shri Radha Krishna ki. We also thank you, Maharaj, for your time and give us a blessing.
blessing. So we all also thanks Maharaj and chanting by holy name one time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. We all missing you Maharaj so much because of such a long time. Uh, by by uh, online only we can hear you, but actually we want your physical association also. We are very much, all of us missing so much from here. So we all pray as soon as, you know, this uh, disease go away so we can meet again very soon, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.